is News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's now been more than 24 hours since the state Supreme Court nullified the Evers administration's statewide safer at home order. Since then, several counties and cities across the state have adopted their own order, similar to what was already in place. Here's a look at the current list. In our immediate area, Dane, Rock, and Greene counties have all issued orders. There are also several in the southeast and northeast parts of the state. State and local governments have maintained that local public health officials have the legal authority to put orders into place to help contain the, con the coronavirus, but a UW law professor says DHS had that authority too. With that being challenged successfully, it's difficult to say what might happen if local orders are challenged. And so we could get the same kind of legal dispute arising as to city and county orders. And so the Supreme Court's decision imposes a layer of uncertainty on top of the entire situation. Now, when it comes to enforcing these new rules on the city and county level, Madison Police Chief Vic Wall says they will cite people or businesses if needed, but they would rather not. Uh, we'll continue to have the same uh, perspective and philosophy when we uh, are called to potential violations. We're going to try to educate and look for voluntary compliance. And for the most part, over the last few months, that's what we've been receiving. Uh, but still, it is an order. It's in place. And if, if need be, we can issue citations. Well, the ruling has left some businesses unsure of what they can do or what they should do. Adam Duxter spoke with Secretary Missy Hughes with the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation and joins us now with what they are telling businesses that plan on reopening. Adam? Well, Eric, the real confusion in Rock County last night came during the five hours or so between the state having its safer at home order repealed and the county announcing it was going to implement a plan of its own. And tonight, business owners say they're tired, confused, and still left waiting to know when they can open in full. For Coach's Bar and Grill owner, Jenny Deal, the last few months have been trying and at times frustrating. The playing field's not necessarily fair for everybody. If you're a big box store, you can have hundreds and hundreds of people in your business. But if you're a little guy, you can't have 20. Well, Deal says they've had support from customers carrying out. Those customers could never come inside. That is, until last night. Made sure there was at least two chairs between everybody. We were distanced. When the state Supreme Court overruled Governor Tony Evers safer at home order. And for a moment, coaches had customers again. It was pretty amazing. It just felt like we were back to normal a little bit. People are laughing and talking and enjoying themselves and feeling um, like we were back to normal. But at 11 o'clock last night, Deal was told no more in-person diners for the second time in three months. As the county said, it'd be enforcing its own version of Safer at Home. Weedick Secretary Missy Hughes says she recognizes this can be tough for those who've been waiting. It's frustrating um, because we do really uh, want it to be um, done safely. But says just because the order is gone doesn't mean coronavirus is. For me, from, you know, the... Uh, perspective of the Wisconsin economy, I'm very concerned about second, third, fourth waves of the virus. Deal says she's willing to follow the precautions like distancing and disinfecting set forth by Wiedek, but says she wants to know when she'll get the chance to do so. I think it's just the uncertainty is what keeps you up at night and wonder and keeps you wondering like you, there's no finish line. There's no date to prepare for or look forward to. Now, Rock County Safer at Home Order is set to expire on May 26th, and tonight County Board leaders are meeting to discuss possibly creating a task force that can help create new rules and regulations to help out businesses with that reopening process. Historic 2nd Street in downtown Platteville was almost back to normal last night after the Safer at Home order was lifted. Dale Jacobs owns four bars in the area and he says he jumped at the chance to get back to business. Within minutes, the bars were open without restrictions and dozens of people showed up. When we spoke with him today, he says he's still making adjustments to make safety a priority. With the public coming in now over the lunch hour, um, you know, we're, we're, we're changing on the run. Uh, making sure you know, we got extra hand sanitizer and, and soap and, and mask for sure. But, but again, most people that come in know their limitations. 
Jacob says his bars will respect whatever orders the city, county, or state puts in place in the future. Grant County Health Department says they will issue an order if voluntary compliance does not work. New tonight, two days after winning Wisconsin's 7th Congressional District, Republican Tom Tiffany is calling for the resignation of DHS Secretary Designee Andrea Palm because of how she handled the response to what he is calling the Wuhan virus. Governor Evers responded today calling that statement, quote, insane. The Diocese of Madison says it'll likely have a reopening plan early next week. Yesterday, Public Health Madison Dane County listed religious entities and essential businesses and is allowing more people to attend services while still maintaining appropriate health related safeguards. The Madison Diocese says it is currently coming up with its reopening plan and will hopefully release it to the public early next week. Following yesterday's ruling, the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development is addressing concerns about returning to work. If their employer does offer them the return to work and they refuse, they would need to report that to us on their weekly claim or initial application. I'm assuming at this point it would be a weekly claim because that does cause an eligibility issue for unemployment benefits. We need to see if that work refusal would be for good cause under the law. The DWD says it determines good cause on a case-by-case -case basis, which in the past has included things like medical issues. Workers who have their claims denied can appeal. For those who wouldn't be able to work because of a lack of child care, the DWD recommends filing for the federal pandemic unemployment assistance because to qualify for regular unemployment in the state, you need to be able to be available for full-time work. As Madison area health care providers continue to expand patient care services, SSM Health, Unity Point Health, and UW Health are all now requiring everyone to wear a face mask within their facilities. In addition to wearing a face covering, all visitors must go through a health screening process before entry and follow all other policies and procedures in place. And there is a lot more information available about reopening plans and other countywide initiatives. For those stories, you can check out our website, channel3000.com. Let's turn things over to weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canolti with our first born forecast. Well, some rain and thunderstorms are moving through much of southern Wisconsin, especially from Madison southward. As we take a look at the time lapse from the WIC sky cam, we started the day with showers and low clouds and fog, and then uh, we had just cloudy skies for much of the day with every once in a while just a tiny peak of sun coming through, but the clouds are thickening up closer to sunset, and now you can see showers and some thunderstorms moving through southern Wisconsin, most areas south of Madison getting some rain right now, but the precipitation drops off pretty quickly north of Dane County. Most of the thunderstorms are down across northern Illinois. High temperatures today made it into the mid 60s to around 70 degrees. Temperatures have cooled off into the upper 50s to lower 60s with the rain moving on through. But the rain should end after midnight. Look for some areas of fog overnight. Then skies will turn sunny for tomorrow. High temperature will top out at 72 degrees. Look for some more rain chances over the weekend, but warmer weather is uh, expected for much of next week and dry conditions as well. I'll have more details in the forecast in a few minutes. Gary, thank you. Starting tomorrow, Rock County will be offering free COVID-19 testing. The city of Beloit will have actually two drive through sites, one at Telfer Park, the other at Krieger Park. Health officials are prioritizing people who have symptoms or have been exposed to someone with the virus. Testing will be available from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. until May 22nd. And in Madison, the National Guard continues to have two collection teams conducting those tests at the community testing site. This is at Alliant Energy Center. As of of today, the Guard says it has collected more than 1,600 specimens. The Mall of America today announced it will reopen retail stores beginning June 1st. The announcement comes a day after Governor Tim Walz gave the go-ahead for retail businesses to reopen beginning on May 18th with restrictions. According to the Mall, the June 1st date decision was made to allow the Mall to create the safest environment for workers and guests, as well as give retail tenants time to rehire and train staff and prepare their individual stores. Universal Orlando Resorts City Walk reopened for limited operations today. Select restaurants and shopping venues in the retail district are reopened for about six hours, including Universal Studios store. City Walk managers say they have enhanced sanitation procedures and implemented additional measures for distance spacing. Visitors will be subjected to a temperature check upon arrival, and anyone with a temperature that reads 100.4 degrees or higher will be asked to go home. President Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in South Florida will partially reopen on Saturday. Guests will have to follow social distancing guidelines. The main house, where the president often takes up residence, will remain closed. The spa, gym, and tennis courts will be off limits as well. To our other big story tonight, the arrest and the murder of a 17-year-old from Fitchburg, that shooting that happened last August. Melissa Kim joins us now with the latest details. Melissa? 
Well, Eric Fitchburg police say they executed a search warrant today in the city of Verona and arrested a 15 year old boy as the primary suspect in the death of Shay Watson. Now, because of his age, police are not releasing his name at this time. On August 25th, family members found Watson dead inside their home on Lyman Lane. In a video briefing released tonight, Fitchburg police chief Chad Brecklin said Watson and the suspect knew each other. They had arranged a meeting that police say ended in the 15 year old suspect shooting and killing. Watson. Regardless of the reason behind this senseless tragedy, we remain committed to bringing justice to anyone involved in this incident. Our thoughts have remained with Shay's family as they continue to grieve, and following the arrest this morning, investigators met with Shay's mother to personally share the news. The suspect has been booked on tentative charges of first degree intentional homicide and armed robbery. While executing the search warrant today, law enforcement found narcotics, cash and a firearm in the home. Now anyone with additional information is asked to contact Madison Area Crime Stoppers. New at 10, 11 people have been arrested in connection to a string of residential and business burglaries throughout Juneau County. Deputies say the months long investigation resulted in four search warrants being executed. Several pieces of stolen property were recovered and 28 property crimes were solved. In Janesville, a drunk driver drove through the police station's closed garage door. The incident was captured on video. Officers say 47-year-old Jeffrey Wood was drunk and left his home during a domestic dispute. Wood told police he intentionally drove through the door because of various grievances he has with the Janesville Police Department, Rock County Court System, and OSHA. Still ahead on News 3 Now at 10, a few showers moving through the area tonight. Gary will have his updated first born forecast. But first, the coronavirus headlines from across the country as states try to balance reopening with public safety. Stay with us. sleep the worst there's really no excuse for bad sleep during the memorial day super sale at denver mattress right now the more you buy the more you save save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend and save 25 percent on our original doctor's choice lineup or check out the summit queen only 189.99 save up to 500 dollars on select tempurpedic mattress sets and get a 300 dollars furniture gift certificate plus five years no interest the memorial day super sale on now at denver mattress this week, you're going to get more at the Brothers Made Memorial Day Super Sale. Get in now with more savings on more brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Right now, improving your home is more convenient at Maine with up to 18-month 0% financing. And we make getting more easy with expert delivery free and our risk-free 30-day price and satisfaction guarantee. The Memorial Day Super Sale for more selection, more savings, and more satisfaction. It all ends Monday at the Brothers Made, your local store for more since 1938. Coming together through tough times is a Wisconsin tradition. In fact, adversity seems to bring out the best in us. EdVest is no different. During these times, our dedication to your higher education goals remains as strong as ever. My wife has always been there for me, 46 years. But now it's my turn to take care of the love of my life. I know a grace will help me take the very best care of her. Just call. A grace will help. The open road, the wind in your hair, the feeling of freedom that drives us to go out and discover. At Chevy, we're committed to getting you there with confidence and peace of mind. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free APR financing for 84 months on many of our most popular models or defer monthly payments for 120 days. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. Or if you require parts, maintenance, or repairs, our Chevy certified service experts can help keep you moving forward so you can find new roads with confidence. We're back. We got our TL food. Oh, good. What a treat after a long week and no cleanup. When you can't dine in, then get it to go and support our restaurants during Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week to Go. Two weeks of fabulous to go menus you'll love. Visit madisonmagazine.com for details and menus. Restaurant Week to Go, presented by Kessnicks. Food service design, equipment, and supplies. I guess there is still cleanup to do. So you might not see the Dane County Farmers Market set up around the Capitol Square this weekend, but you can still buy local and benefit your area farmers. Yeah, we'll tell you how to order from the market and pick up your produce drive through style. We'll see you Friday morning, 4.30 to 7. You're watching News 3 Now at 10.
Welcome back. At least five sailors who had returned to the USS Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier have tested positive for coronavirus despite extensive efforts by the Navy to prevent another outbreak on the ship. A defense official said that one of the sailors suddenly started experiencing symptoms when they returned and the other four that tested positive had been in close proximity to that sailor. The coronavirus uh, has now claimed more than 85,000 lives in the U.S. and nationwide. There are more than 1.4 million confirmed cases. CBS News correspondent Elise Preston has the latest on the struggle to balance reopening the economy while keeping people safe. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz gave the green light for retailers to open their doors again next Monday. We believe that the safest place we can be is at home, but we know we can't continue like this forever. In Cadillac, Michigan, this barbershop is already doing business despite extended stay-at-home orders from Governor Gretchen Whitmer. It's been two and a half months since I've had a haircut and I've desperately needed one. About 250 protesters, some carrying long guns, returned to the Capitol in Lansing to demand statewide restrictions be lifted. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is letting Miami-Dade and Broward counties start their phase one reopening on Monday. It would be based on our observed experience, not based on hysteria. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti issued an order requiring people to wear face coverings in public as California eases social distancing rules. It's great. I mean, we have to if we want to protect each other. A new CBS poll finds 44% of Americans say they always wear a mask or face covering when they go out. 11% say they never do. A group hug. Oh, yes. And in Illinois, a little ingenuity gave Rose Gagnon a chance to hug her great-grandchildren. It filled my heart. Gagnon's granddaughter hopes other families will build their own hug time machine so they can feel the love, too. Elise Preston, CBS News. The New York Stock Exchange says it plans to resume floor trading on May 26th. The U.S. Navy Blue Angels were back out flying today over Little Rock, Arkansas to honor health care workers, first responders, military and other essential workers during the pandemic. This is the Blue Angels' latest visit, already flying over more than a dozen other cities. A little dreary out there today, but things should warm up a bit tomorrow. Here's Gary's first warm forecast. Gary? That's when we get the sunshine. That'll warm us up compared to the cloud cover that we had today. Day. You can see that on the time lapse from the Queen Bee Radio Skycam in Platteville. Some showers to start the day along with some fog. Much of the day was just dry and cloudy with even a peak or two of sunshine, but the clouds thickened up shortly after sunset and rain is moving through much of southern Wisconsin right now. Most of the thunderstorms are across northern Illinois. You can see some flashes of lightning and a couple into far southern portions of Grant County, but the back edge of the precipitation now starting to move eastward. So I think most of the rain will start ending right after midnight. Areas north of Madison or north, of, at least north of Dane County, probably see the rain in pretty quickly. Otherwise, a little wider view shows some severe thunderstorms <clears throat> down across parts of eastern Iowa and northern Illinois where severe thunderstorm watches are in effect, but the severe weather threat will stay to our south. Flash flood watches continue until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning for northwestern Illinois and parts of eastern Iowa where they've already had a couple of inches of rain. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Look for partly sunny skies to return tomorrow. That'll get temperatures right back up into the lower 70s. Some showers over the weekend, especially from late Saturday afternoon, more likely Saturday night into Sunday. Could even be a couple of isolated thunderstorms as well, but that will keep our temperatures down. Upper 60s for Saturday, lower 60s for Sunday. But dry weather returns for most of next week beginning on Monday, and it looks like temperatures will warm up from the upper 60s on Monday to around 80 by Friday, and it looks like we'll stay right around 80 through the Memorial Day weekend. High temperatures today, generally in the 60s across the state. Lacrosse did hit 71 degrees, but uh, for the most part, the cloud cover was what kept our temperatures down. This last batch of showers and thunderstorms moving along and just ahead of a cold front and low pressure system passing to our south, but the upper level winds continue to become more southwesterly with time, and that's what will fuel the warm-up over the next few uh, days and basically for about the next week and a half. Here's the uh, front I was talking about. It's hung up with an area of low pressure moving eastward out of Iowa. That's what's triggering these thunderstorms. A second front behind it will move eastward. That will actually just dry out the air. Temperatures tomorrow will be warmer than today just because of the sunshine, but tomorrow night will be a little bit cooler because of the drier air. Otherwise, we zoom into the Midwest. You can see south of that 
front temperatures are still close to 70 degrees north of the front, mainly in the 50s to around 60 in the rain cooled air. Future track takes that rain eastward pretty rapidly tonight. There'll be some areas of fog overnight. We'll be back to sunshine for the day tomorrow. High temperatures in the lower 70s. Partly cloudy skies tomorrow night. Winds shift to the northeast. That'll drop temperatures in the middle 40s. Saturday, that easterly wind flow will start out with some partly sunny skies in the morning, but then skies will turn cloudy in the afternoon with highs in the upper 60s. The showers and a few thunderstorms will arrive Saturday night and continue into Sunday. That northeasterly wind flow on Sunday will keep temperatures in the uh, upper 50s and lower 60s, but the clearing to our north and west will arrive for Monday and start that warm up for next week. Tomorrow, back to partly sunny skies, high temperature at 72 degrees, and here's what I mean with that warm up right after the weekend. 67 on Monday, look for highs lower 70s Tuesday, mid 70s Wednesday, upper 70s Thursday, and around 80 for Friday. Shower and thunderstorm chances return for the Memorial Day weekend, but at this point, it looks like there'll be plenty of dry hours and Memorial Day itself. Look for high temperatures right around 80 degrees. All right, I like the sound of that. Gary, thank you very much. Ahead in sports, Vince Beagle. He had a breakout year in Miami. Why the former Badger can't wait to see what the year has in store for him and his Miami Dolphins. This is Axon Next with Sports. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Since 1930, Grand Appliance and TV has been committed to providing our local communities with the products that have become essential to the way we live. Through thick and thin, we've remained steadfast in that commitment. We're open and making no contact curbside delivery as well as full in-home installations. Shop in-store or on grandappliance.com and get an extra 5% off most appliance purchases. We are Grand Appliance and TV. You know us and you can count on us. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 84 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2019 Ford vehicles. Dark stains and algae buildup can rapidly age your roof. So give us a call here at Mad City Roofing for a new high-performance premium roofing system with Scotchgar protection to prevent stains and streaks. And now during our Raise the Roof event, 75% off labor. Ask about zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 18 months. And if you call during this program, receive a free $100 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. We asked real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum is the fastest. Bam. <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet. Delivering starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my shows, and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on-demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go. All from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. The Miami probably wasn't what he had in mind. Three years with three different teams. The Packers in 2017, the Saints in 2018, and the Dolphins last season. But down in Florida, Beagles found his fit. The former Badger started 10 games, racked up 59 tackles, two and a half sacks, and picked off a pass. And after proving to himself he could play in the league, 
Beagle can't wait for year two with the fence. Now for me, it's, it's I know I can do this. Now it's putting down, uh, continue to put down what I laid down last year and continue to build upon uh, what I did. So, um, you know, that's it's continuing to attack the off season. It's continuing to attack the weights in the off season. Uh, stay positive. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to get back down to South Florida with the Packers finalized their preseason schedule for the upcoming season, and for the fourth straight year, they'll kick things off at home. The Green and Gold will host the Cardinals on August 22nd, and then the Browns the following week. They'll close out the preseason with two road trips to New York and Kansas City. The UW men's hockey team entered last season with high expectations. They put plenty of talent on the ice, but the Badgers were never able to put it all together finishing dead last in the Big Ten. Seven conference wins, definitely not going to cut it at Wisconsin, but Tony Granato's bringing back a group that might still be young, but they now have experience. And no, what happened last year can't happen again. We need to be a lot better, and I think, yeah, we have the team. We have a little bit more experience um, going into next year, and um, I think we know what to expect a little bit more. We know the teams and, and what they have also, but um, it's a lot of adversity that we faced last year, but I think it's only going to make us stronger. And back in March, Greg Gard was named the Big Ten's Coach of the Year for leading the batters, Badgers to a share of the Big Ten title. Today, he followed that up with the same honor from the WBCA, but it gets even better for the Badgers. His staff was named the Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Association Staff of the Year. We're back after this. The open road, the wind in your hair, the feeling of freedom that drives us to go out and discover. At Chevy, we're committed to getting you there with confidence and peace of mind. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free APR financing for 84 months on many of our most popular models or defer monthly payments for 120 days. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. Or if you require parts, maintenance, or repairs, our Chevy certified service experts can help keep you moving forward so you can find new roads with confidence. Shop the largest selection of quality furniture and mattresses from the comfort of your home on Steinhoffels.com. Right now, Steinhoffels will ship your purchase free to your curb, driveway, or garage. Start shopping right now with a name you can trust, Steinhoffels.com. Stock up on spring essentials at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Right now, we have low prices on must-haves for your yard, home, vehicle, and more. Like this Craftsman Mechanics tool set, only $149.99. Get $100 off all Cub Cadet XT1 and XT2 lawn tractors. Rewards members get a free $5 gift card when you spend $30 on miracle Grow products. Plus, place your order online or on our mobile app and pick up your items in our convenient drive-thru. Find value at Farm and Fleet. Weedman Lawn Care, we believe that your lawn should be a place where memories are made, a source of pride, relaxation, and fun for the whole family. That's why we proudly offer a child and pet friendly program so you can enjoy a healthier, greener, weed-free lawn without sacrificing peace of mind. Our program offers effective, targeted weed control, and our golf course quality fertilizer creates a beautiful outdoor space. Don't your kids and grandkids deserve a Weedman Lawn? Trust the lawn care experts. Trust Weedman. Versus Cancer Wisconsin Virtual Gala, Wednesday, May 20th at 7 p.m. An auction and inspiring program, all from the comfort and safety of home. Register now at Coaches versus Cancer Wisconsin.org. Download the Channel 3000 app today. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. 
Finally tonight, the Madison Mallards are getting creative, finding ways to get people out to the duck pond. Today, they announced they will be transforming the ballpark into a drive-in theater. Opening night will be next Wednesday, May 20th, and will feature the 2019 version of Aladdin. The first installment of the series will run from May 20th through the 26th. Tickets are limited and are for sale on a per-car basis for $40 in advance of the show only. Tickets will go on sale tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And here's Gary with the final check of your forecast. Weather should be nice by then. Temperatures will be comfortable. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms moving through northern Illinois and far southern Wisconsin. Most of the thunderstorms are in northern Illinois. Rain from Madison and Dane County southward, but it is ending to our north and to our west. Temperatures right now, right around 60 degrees, give or take a degree or two either side of that. Tomorrow, look for a high of 72 degrees. The skies turn sunny after fog lifts early in the morning. And look for mild weather after a cool weekend. Temperatures in the 70s next week and then 80s by the end of the week with some shower and thunderstorm chances toward the Memorial Day weekend. All right, looks pretty good. Gary, thank you, and thank you for joining us tonight for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, be well, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Now, a WISC-TV editorial with editorial director Neil Heinen. The road to recovery is going to have a lot of barriers. The most serious and worrisome are the uncertain public health setbacks, but the list also includes frailties of human behavior, destructive politics, and Supreme Court decisions. Let's not get too hung up on the latest court ruling. The majority of the Wisconsin Supreme Court proved itself demoralizing and untrustworthy long ago. What we share now is the challenge of minimizing the damage inflicted by the court and other political ideologues. We find hope in polls showing overwhelming support for continued public health and safety measures, the leadership of many local government officials, and the steady hand of a governor focused on keeping all citizens safe. We do ask Speaker Voss and Senator Fitzgerald to show the decency of working with the governor on a plan to help Wisconsin reopen smartly and safely. We are desperate for thoughtful, caring, selfless leadership right now. Please step up.